Hi there! In this video I am going to show you how to customize your template, set up your template, and connect to MailChimp. Um, so when you log into your Customized Nutrition Newsletters account, you will be brought to this screen called My Profile. And here you will want to enter, this is the first screen you'll see um, the first time. After you do it once, you will not have to do this every time. But you will see um, your business name, your um, here is if you want to have your headshot shown in the intro of your newsletter, you would click the show intro and you can change that month to month if you like. Um, you can also add an additional person or to your bio if you have more people in your um, business. You would if you have a physical address, enter it here, the same as your phone number. These will show up in your mail temp, um, in your template of your newsletter. If you don't enter it, it's not going to show up. For your email, you do want to make sure this is the email that you want um, sent out from. So your newsletter will be coming from contact us at urockgirl.com. That's how it's going to appear in MailChimp. You will have the option to change that in MailChimp, but just to save you a step, try to make this email one that you want to go out. Um, your website, your My Products, if you have a product, a service, an ebook, or a, a book, a, a app that you sell on a regular basis and you want to promote in your newsletter, this is an excellent place to put it. This will be a standing, I guess you would call it an advertisement in your newsletter template that does not change until you change it. So every month you would not have to go re-enter that, which is great. Um, make sure your social media links are up to date. You can update. So after all this is correct, you will then go to templates and you will customize the look and feel of your template. Okay. So this is again something you do one time. We have three template styles. The first style, you have your intro letter, your main article, and then a recipe and a mini article. If you had a promotional piece, it would be there, the product piece. And then you have your about and your keep in touch. Okay. Template two, it will be divided strictly in half. So you will have your, and you will need to set up the color schemes for every template color that you, that you want. I do build all newsletters in template one so that they're all formatted properly with that. And it, after you set up your template one, it will always save as template one. But if you did want to change it to template two, just make sure you transfer the colors over, okay? Template two is going to be divided in half. And it's all a personal preference. And then template three is going to be a straight up and down newsletter. So there's no sidebars. Okay. So um, with template one, we want to make sure the colors match our look and feel. There's a great website called html-color-codes.info where you can upload your logo and then find the exact color match. So I'm going to go ahead and find the exact color pink to this. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it as my background color of my newsletter. Um, I am available anytime to help you with this if you need help ever. Okay, now I'm going to make my sidebar this light color because I know text is going to show up better in a lighter color. So I'm going to make the sidebar this and I'm going to go ahead and make my about background the same color as my sidebar just to make it uniform. Now I don't have a product box at this time, but when I want one, I do want it to stand out a little. And I think gray goes nicely with pink and green, so I'm going to go ahead and make it a gray. The underline header color, um, you do want to make sure you change all the colors of this because if you don't, then the, these default colors, these funky blues, are going to are going to appear if you don't change it to at least a white or a gray or a black. Um, oh no, I didn't want to get that color. Go back to that pink. I am going to go make the underlining the underlying color this pink. My font header color I do want to have as a black, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this black. Oops. 
And my link color, I'm going to go ahead and make this pink again. Because everything's going to look nice and uniform. Now I can preview it. And it's coming. It's just being a little slow right now. Because I have so many things open. There you go. So you can see how everything's going to look. My intro letter will be up there if I include one. If I don't, we don't have to worry about it. Look how nice and pretty that looks. So then you save. And then voila, we're done customizing your template. We can always update it as your business evolves. If you want to change things up, you can always update it. You can always send me an email if you need to. Now you can go to... Um, my dashboard. Now we do want to make sure we're, account, we're connected with MailChimp, so you will go to my account. This is again a one-time thing you will have to do. Um, connect to your MailChimp account. This will just let our system work with MailChimp making it very easy for you to select your content, go out to your subscribers. Okay, so they, they are connected to one time. You will just enter your username and password for MailChimp, select the list you want your newsletter to go to um, from your MailChimp account, and save it. And that is all for setting up your account. In the next video, I will go over how to um, create your first newsletter.